Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up this week, we preview the richest event in the history of Caracom horse racing, the Mute Mile. This weekend at Jamaica's Caymanas Park, where champion trainer Jason Da Costa swept the trophy double last weekend. And a Saturday double safeguard Sappy Joseph's label as Gulfstream Park's champion trainer. The eighth in a row for the Barbadian superstar. Plus the weekly stats on Caribbean success on the North American continent. Our opening story from Jamaica. The $2 million Mr. Sensational Trophy run in honor of the 1995-2000 Guinness winner. Saturday's main event for native bred and imported two-year-olds. All eyes on the Oak Ridge Farms unbeaten Digital One with Ryan Lewis riding for Jason Da Costa, the leading jockey for the leading trainer. Da Costa with five of the six entries for the seven furlong run. Digital One eyeing a third straight win, the one to nine favorite. Da Costa's winners last time out, number one, Fast and Furious Links at 18 to 1, and uh, the six horse Come Home to Me at 5 to 1. Number four, Run Julie Run, trained by Ian Passad at 6 to 1 in the com box. Kevin Burnside picking them up down the back stretch with a favorite in control. Past the five and head toward the four, and it is Digital One bouncing easily on that lead. A length in front of Run Julie Run racing in second. Three lengths away before we come to Fast and Furious Links. Join on the outside by Come Home to Me. Then six lengths before we come to Lucy in the Sky and racing at the back of the field, Imaya. They're passing the three and it is a digital one on that lead. Four lengths in front and everybody is struggling at the moment. In second, that's Run Julie Run also coming on. That's Fast and Furious Link. Digital One in front and looks to be in control. Coming on the inside though, that's Fast and Furious Link. Digital One in front of Fast and Furious Links. Coming on the inside has to be switched toward the outside. Fast and Furious Link and Digital One. This is where the race lies. Digital One kicks once again from Fast and Furious Links. Run Julie Run left back into third, but Digital One finds another gear and begins to pull away. Digital One and the one in the Mr. Sensational Trophy. Winning like a 1-9 to nine favorite should, the undefeated Digital One on an afternoon stroll for her third win in a row. Jockey Ryan Lewis in the familiar looking silks of Atomica's owner, Oak Ridge Farms. Scoring by eight lengths over stablemate Fast and Furious Links, Digital One breezes to a good win, clocking a decent 1 minute 26 and 3 fifths for the 7 furlong Mr. Sensational as champion trainer Jason Acosta logs a 1-2 finish. Top trainers score many of their victories with favorites of course, but they also score when they are not expected to. And that's what Acosta did with the 4-1 bet. Luxol in Saturday's co-featured Jerry Skelton Memorial. The 4-year-old filly was only the 4th best supported in the betting. Richie Azan's Labana heavy 6-5 favorite in the 5.5 furlong sprint. But leading jockey Ryan Lewis after rushing Luxol to the lead soon after the start remained in control entering the home stretch. This is Luxol in front and really turning on that lead about six, seven lengths in front and really not messing around this Luxol. Here in the nightcap, Duke is chasing along with Kataba and a press conference, but they're not getting back to Luxol. Coming to the furlong pole, it's Luxol in front and running like a scared here. Luxol in front, race car is running on really well for second but Luxol winning the nightcap in in style Luxol beats race card Luxol's third win this year in 18 starts Ray and Lewis aboard for all three of those wins he has only lost twice aboard her this year Brian Chen and Liz Costa's Luxol at four to one odds lands the Jerry Skelton Memorial by eight and a half lengths over race car and El Professor quick splits of 23-1 by 45-2 the final time 106 and one fifth for the five and a half furlong sprint closing a double for Jockey Lewis and trainer Da Costa. Now to that massive Mute Mile story, an event taking its name from the main sponsor, Paul Mute, who is chairman of the Trinidad and Tobago-based Zodiac Caribbean Ventures, currently the largest shareholder in Jamaican racing's parent company, Supreme Ventures Limited. The Mute Mile post position draw for the event with a CARICOM record purse of 150,000 US dollars, staged Tuesday evening at the Rock Hotel on Jamaica's south coast in Kingston. Appearing at the draw, Canada-based Japanese rider Daisuke Fukumoto, a winner of four stakes races so far this year at Woodbine, and he is happy to be partnering the Richie Azan trained Perfect Brew. You know, I like to win big races, and uh, you know the trainer is a big trainer, and you know he know he know you know everything, so he gave me a big opportunity, you know, for this weekend. So you know, I try to show my ride, and uh, you know enjoy and hopefully get the good luck 
There's the inside half of the 16-horse field. Among them, number one, She's My Destiny, last month's Gold Cup winner for champion trainer Jason Acosta. Number two, Blue Final, a double classic winner last year. The 2022 Gold Cup winner, Mahogany, is in the four box. Number eight is Runaway Algo, boasting five wins so far this year for the 2022 Most Improved Trainer, Dale Murphy. Last year's champion two-year-old and 2,000 Guinness winner this year, Mojito, is in the ninth box. Horse of the year and on a five-race winning streak is number 10, Atomica. And some solid entries in the outside draws. Number 14 from Florida, American Tap, last month's Nigel Nunes Memorial winner. And number 15, another US shipper on race so far in Jamaica. Rough entry with two wins and four second-place finishes this year at Gulfstream Park. The US-based French rider Julian Leperu aboard for Florida-based Jamaican trainer Rowan Crichton. This year's surprise dab winner ability closes out the field of 16, with Atomica's trainer Gary Sabrati confident his super filly will better her ninth place finish last year. This year Atomica has an excellent chance of winning. She's a more mature horse, more, more seasoned horse this year. And um, I have also Duke in the race, and everybody's training good going into the race. So I'm really pleased with the work, both of them. So let's see what happens. Mute Mile post Saturday is 4.45 p.m. local time, 5.45 Eastern Caribbean time, and it will be live on Sportsmax. Now, as Barbados celebrates its 57th uh, anniversary of independence today, a fitting story this on one of its greatest sons of thoroughbred racing, Safi Joseph Jr. This past weekend, collecting a fantastic eighth consecutive Gulfstream Park trainer's title. And it wasn't easy going into Saturday's final race day of the summer fall season they call the Sunshine Meet. Joseph was lying second on 31 wins, one win behind Victor Barbosa with Jose D'Angelo, a close-up third on 29. Joseph wasted little time with his 72-bit Mojave Desert under jockey Edgar Zas. Easily winning Saturday's $50,000 maiden special weight first race comfortably to tie Barbosa at 32 wins each. Four and a half lengths the victory margin here for Joseph's entry, but the 36-year-old Barbadian would lose the trainer's lead half an hour later on the final day when Barbosa countered with victory in race two. Joseph would come back to tie things up in race six with a one to five favorite Brizero Edgar Zas again aboard for the win for a Caribbean sweep of the maiden special weight event. Jamaican trainer Ron Crichton second with 19 to one bet cool tricks and Safi's other entry Maybelly third. As they race to the top of the stretch, the quarter was 22 and one. Brizero threatening a fleet of seat here. She's three clear. Kozaka making steady progress up the inside there second, but the cool tricks still inching in down the center bin third. The battle on for Mater spoils, but Brizero as advertised here, one to five and well clear. She's running up the score late. How easy was that? Six lengths easy, but the trainer's championship battle anything but comfortable. Safi Joseph and Barbosa in a tie with 33 wins each. Although Joseph's earnings of $1.16 million almost doubles Barbosa's 666000 Jose D'Angelo third with 30 wins. Starting with the 2021 Spring Summer Meet title, Joseph has won every seasonal Gulfstream Park trainer's title since. This his eighth in a row, and he has now won 12 of the last 15 trainers' championships at Florida's world-famous racetrack. Our weekly tally of wins for Caribbean racing men in the USA and Canada. Before we go, I've counted since our last show 21 wins. Among them, Kevin Nichols with a Friday double at Woodbine, where fellow Barbadian jockey Patrick Husbands had a Saturday triple and four weekend wins overall. And the Jamaican trainer Raymond Handel had victories at Aqueduct and Fairgrounds. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.